Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy here, Drew Chains, with another episode of Drew Chains Outdoors. And today, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of my boat. So check it out. We have a 2007 Stratos 275 XL. Uh, it's set up for bass fishing and tournament fishing. Um, I like it, it's my first like forever real boat, so I'm super excited about it. So let's go and step back and just take a look. As we can see, um, I think it's an 18 footer, um, custom trailer, breakaway tongue which is nice. Um, here's the truck, you all see the truck. GMC Sierra, how back. So let's check it out. We have the Stratos, I'll take you on deck and walk you around. Um, I got a motor guide, 70 pound thrust trolling motor with a Lawrence um, hook on the front. That's already set up for uh, GPS navigation, all that good stuff. So she's ready to go. Um, that's my front, my front like tournament area where I'm at uh, when I'm fishing tournaments. Um, brand new motor guide, just got this the other day. So I'm excited about that. Uh, it's new to me, brand new. Um, take y'all around the side. This is my, uh, like my floor, my deck, my seats, uh, leather, red and gray, which is nice. I got a hummingbird GPS on the back, uh, which is nice. Um, it'd be cool to have a hummingbird and a hummingbird in the front, but hey, it came with the boat. Uh, they work great. Like I said they got GPS on both of them, big screens, uh, good picture, 3D um, and 2D imaging, side imaging. So you can't, can't complain. I'm gonna keep those for a while. Um, here's the back angle of the boat. And a nice white with a uh, with a red flare with the flake on it, which looks good. Got my uh, Mercury 115 on the back. I don't know why I have this bungee cord on there. I'm gonna get something else, but got the Mercury 115, uh, which is great. Uh, and this boat is recommended for a 115, so it has exactly what it's supposed to have. Charging port, so it's already set up. It's good to go on that. Uh, just plug and play when you want to charge it up, plug it into your onboard charger, and you're good to go with that guy right there. Here's a, a, a view from the back driver's side. So let's take you on deck, check it out. So this is my hummingbird area where I sit down and while I'm driving the boat. This is what we're looking at. So we got our gauges here, we look good to go. Um, I said, I'm, an, I'm not gonna take this off right now, but I'll do something later on the hummingbird I got. And it's a, I think it's a 989C. So I'll walk you through that. Uh, new custom Mercury um, shifter handle with up and down trim, which is good. Take it here to uh, my first storage locker, which would be my fishing tackle. So my bag, tournament boxes, um, kind of light right now. I'm just getting started on this uh, on this bin. So got some good tackle in there, enough to go fishing. I'm gonna do an episode of the day. I'm going crappie fishing, so we can put some in the uh, put some in the freezer. So that's that. This is gonna be my safety area where I keep all my emergency stuff. So we got, let's see, we got first aid, which is an emergency kit. Got another first aid kit right here. Rope, tools, ponchos, vice grips, um, socket wrenches, fire extinguisher, and duct tape. Uh, that's where I keep that. Life jackets are in the back, obviously, but this is where I keep my tools at and my emergency gear. Uh, God forbid anything ever happened like that where I had to go ahead and uh, you know, uh, use the emergency stuff. Hopefully that doesn't happen to me. Then we got, oh, this is my, uh, my GoPro. I strap her down right here. Uh, that's where I'm gonna be filming most of my episodes for uh, live fishing. And when you fish tournaments, you gotta have a, uh, a GoPro or something like this on deck. So I keep mine right there and I use it uh, when I'm fishing to show y'all what's going on. Um, my rod locker, where I stuff all my rods. I got about maybe 15 rods down there. Um, Right now I'm just doing a multiple species fishing, so crappie and bass primarily. Um, so I just have whatever I want in there just to be ready for all my fishing. Um, but as we get closer to tournaments, I'll be more specialized in what rods I'm actually bringing. But right now, summertime is hot. I'm going for crappie and bass all day, just having fun, chilling with the boys, going out fishing. All right. Now we're moving up the deck to the, uh, the front area. This is a new motor guide. Um, first time we'll be touching the water will be today. Never been in the water. Has the posit, um, the posit bottom and the uh, the steel shaft on top. 70 pound thrust, so I'm excited about this. Got the Lawrence hook at the front, seven inch screen. Um, it works good. G gives you side imaging, uh, 2D and 3D, and uh, navigation, which is all you need really to be successful. Got the, uh, the lights right here. Got up and down trim from the front, which is good. Passenger seat. Let's go to my rear, my rear storage. So we got two live wells on this Stratos 275 XL. So live well one. And we got live well two. 
right? So that's where my fish are going. Stack them up all day in there, baby. It's all good. It's all good. Here we got, I just keep my minnow bucket in here and um, my uh, little aerator for my minnows when I go crappy fishing. And then we got um, my other storage locker. Life jackets, anchor. Um, yeah, just keep that stuff in there for safety issues. Now, a good part of the boat. I run three batteries. I run a uh, an ever I was an interstate battery for my for my uh, my starting up the motor. So I run the interstate battery. Then I have some more batteries on here. So there's my interstate battery. That's my cranking battery, and it runs off the alternator, so it's gonna be self charging. On boat storage with the uh, uh, electronics battery right here, and that's a battery for my trolling motor. So I have one battery from the motor for trolling, one for crank, and one for electronics. Um, two of them are hooked up to the, uh, the onboard charger because it only holds two batteries. And the third one's hooked up for just crank, but it runs off the alternator, so it's gonna stay charged. That's how I'll do a setup for, um, for batteries. Give yourself three batteries, man. Don't do two batteries and be short. You need a battery for your trolling motor, in my opinion, just so you can stay out there longer. Um, you don't wanna worry about running out of power. And typically you don't, but like I said, I'd rather just go ahead and have one for electronics and one for trolling motor. I troll hard when I fish. I stay on spots, I move around. Some of the lakes out here, some of the lakes are electric only. So you wanna make sure that you know, you're know you focusing on just uh, having what you need and not, um, not stressing about electricity. So overall, this is the uh, Stratos 275XL 2007. And like I said, this is my first ever bass boat I've owned. So um, I'll be doing a lot of tournament fishing in this. Um, tonight we're going crappie fishing. Uh, I have a separate episode for that. So make sure you tune in. But um, it's not a lot on Stratos walkthroughs. So I figured I'd go ahead and, and do one. Here's my control panel with all my switches on here. Got the bilge pump, the main electricity, the bait, the bait well, aerator, um, accessory uh, lights, lights, and a horn. Um, here's the dashboard right here. You got the front shield, hardline sticker, of course. You know how it is. Hardline products, holler back. And so, uh, this boat right here is ready to go. Um, like I said, let me get on down here. Like I said, I'm pulling this Stratos uh, with my GMC Sierra um, All Terrain X Edition. So, she's ready to go. She's a little dirty right now, but we can do a tour of the truck if y'all want it. But, uh, you know, that's how we're living right here. We got a uh, boat ready to arrive. We're gonna hit the lake. See if we can put some crappy in the boat. Really going out there to test out the trolling motor more than anything, but it'd be nice to put a get put some slabs in the boat and just kind of uh, you know stack up uh, in the freezer. So the goal is to catch maybe hopefully 20 or 30 fish, um, and we'll be on the day. So we're gonna go out there have some fun and uh, and do what it do. So till next time, it's your boy here, Drew Chains with Drew Chains Outdoors. Make sure you follow me. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe. I'll keep content coming. Um, it's really important for me to have as much outdoor content as possible. Now that I've got my boat uh, in swing, hunting season's around the corner. You're going to have a lot of episodes from me on hunting and fishing, as well as golfing, uh, and just living everyday life, you know. And so I want to make sure that I'm putting this out for everybody who wants to get started fishing or tournament fishing or get started in hunting. The season's around the corner, so I want to make sure that I'm sharing that content and, um, and blessing everybody. So until next time, I'm Drew Chains with another episode of Drew Chains Outdoors. Make sure you holler back.